What's up everybody? Welcome back to Unparalleled Universe for another action figure review and today we're taking a look at the brand new Marvel Legends Stiltman Build-A-Figure Wave Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse Prowler. And let's go ahead and jump right into this starting off with the packaging. It is your standard Marvel Legends packaging. You are able to see the figure through the window along with some of the Build-A-Figure pieces he comes with. On the side of the box we get some really cool looking artwork of the Prowler. On the back we get that same artwork but it's kind of zoomed out and then we get one of Hasbro's signature super descriptive character biographies here it says that prowler basically has some weapons and works in the dark and that's about it i really wish they put some more information about the characters because when i was younger i used to love reading the character biographies on the back of the boxes even though i knew who the characters were it was still fun to do and i'd imagine kids these days would have that same enjoyment if they were doing it i don't know maybe i'm completely wrong and nobody gives a shit but anyways <laughs> moving on here down at the bottom we get to see all the other figures that it takes to build Stiltman, and that's about it for the packaging it does look good it's collector friendly and all that good stuff but enough about the pretty box let's go ahead and take a look at the prowler and here we have the prowler right out of the box and I think this is a really good looking figure. I'm a big fan of the prowler redesign that they did for the movie. I do wish that there was a little bit more green in there. But, you know, as it is, I think it's a great design for the character. And I think this is a good looking figure of that design. The only thing I kind of dislike about this figure is that his arms don't come all the way down. And that's really, really frustrating because if you're just going to have him standing there on the shelf, he's going to look very awkward. You know, you're going to have to put him into some kind of posing position or do something a little bit more dynamic to make him not look so awkward you know but yeah the arms just don't come down that's about as far down as they go so i might pop the arms off and try to shave down a little bit to try to get his arms to come down a little bit more i don't know why it's just the idea that his arms can't come down just kind of it bugs me you know that's about as far as they go down so it can, it can look awkward if he's just standing on your shelf. But yeah, other than that, I think it's a really good looking figure. There's a lot of new pieces or a lot of retooled pieces to make them kind of look new. Like the arms do look like they came from Shatterstar, but they don't have the pins. So they did some work to at least change it up a little bit. Uh, the torso also seems to be from Shatterstar, but the legs do feel completely new. I don't recognize the sculpt. Um, it looks like a dude wearing pants not like a super type superhero costume you know so that's interesting and then he doesn't have the pins on the side so there's a lot of new th and then obviously the lower arms and the lower legs are are new but yeah that's pretty interesting that they retooled some stuff to make it feel new these arms might be completely new and maybe just the shoulders are reused but they do look similar to shatter stars but uh yeah i really wish that he could bring his arms down that's one thing that's kind of bugging me but taking a closer look at the details, I really like the way that this head sculpt looks, how the mask is like loose fitting and you could kind of see the face underneath it. And I like how the black around the eyes is actually sculpted. It's not just painted on. So I think that looks really, really nice. And then we do have a cape and I'm not, you know, usually I, I really dislike plastic capes, but in this case, I mean, it's a smaller cape and once it pegs into the back, I think it looks fine and it doesn't really get in the way. It doesn't move around and... I, one big thing I dislike about Hasbro capes is sometimes they're too loose. When you peg it into the figure, like it just looks weird. You have floating collar pieces and things like that. In this case, it floats up a little bit, but it's not too bad. Overall, I think it looks really good. And then moving down into the body here, as you can see, this sculpt is very familiar, but it does look good. We do have the design on the chest. It looks pretty clean for the most part. There's a couple of little rough edges, but nothing too major. And then we have some sculpting work on the arm that looks good. As I said before, no pins on the elbows, so I do like that. I do like the way the lower arms look with all these like mechanics and gadgets and stuff going on. It does look really nice. We have some silver going on, some pink and some black. Damn, these hands are really cool. But for some reason, they gave him the vertical hinge hands as if he should be able to hold weapons. And then he actually has a gripping hand. But he doesn't come with any weapons to hold. I wish that he came with actual like open hands or even fists or something. But you know open like clawed hands would have been the best. So that's kind of bizarre. But moving on here. He does have a belt on his waist but it's a loose piece and it just kind of floats around. Doesn't really get in the way of anything. And these legs are really nice. They have like a higher quality feel compared to some other Marvel Legends. So I think that's dope. And the sculpting work is good. It's fitting for the character. And then moving down into the feet, he's got his crazy boots. So yeah, I think it's a it's a good looking figure. But I kind of wish that instead of reusing 
Shatterstar parts, I mean, they should have just gone all the way and given him a new body sculpt. I mean, for the most part, he does have a lot of new pieces, so why not just go all the way and give him a fully new body, you know? And as far as accessories go, he doesn't really come with anything for himself, but he does come with the Builder figure pieces. As you can see, he does come with the Stiltman's right arm. And Stiltman actually came with interchangeable hands, but Prowler did not, so that kind of sucks. And then he also comes with a briefcase full of money. And this is intended for Stiltman, I believe, but, you know, you could use this for any kind of criminal or whatever, so that's cool. And then it does have some money on the inside there. This actually comes out. So yeah, that could come in handy for a lot of stuff. And it closes with no problem. You don't have to worry about it opening when you don't want it to. So yeah, I do like that. It would have been nice if Prowler came with an alternate head or multiple hands or something. It, they kind of... I guess there's a lot of new things going on in this wave. So maybe it would... It, it You know, they can't give everything to everybody. And a lot of the other figures do come with accessories and stuff like that. But it would have been nice to give him at least an alternate head because in the movie obviously the fact that he was Miles's uncle was way more important than him being the prowler you know so it would have been nice if if he would have had an extra head sculpt but let's go ahead and do some size comparisons here we have the prowler alongside the brand new Marvel Legends into the Spider-Verse Spider-Man and Gwen Stacy and I do like that the prowler is so much bigger than both of them I think that's very fitting for the characters so I think those look good. Next up, we have Prowler alongside Peter B. Parker and the Marvel Legends Retro Spider-Man with the toying around Spider-Sense effect. And obviously, Peter B. Parker and Prowler are both adults, so it makes sense that they're around the same size, so I'm okay with that. Next up, we have Prowler alongside his comic book version, and he is rocking a cape from Rebel 10 Customs, even though I don't have it on here <laughs> quite the right way, but... I put it on there like a couple years ago and just kind of threw it on the shelf. But there you go. And then over here we have the Marvel Legends Mysterio. And then next we have him, of course, next to the Marvel Legends Bucky Cap and Marvel Legends Pizza Spider-Man. And then last but not least, we have Prowler alongside the Mafex Miles Morales Spider-Man and the Marvel Legends Miles Morales Spider-Man. Let's back him up just a little bit here. So... Hasbro did do a Into the Spider-Verse Miles Morales in his regular Spider-Man costume, but I thought that was like a lazy-ass figure, so I never picked it up. It was in a two-pack with Gwen Stacy, and uh, I just never liked that one. It was basically just a repaint of this. So if you have that figure and you want to know how he looks next to Prowler, this should uh, help you out. And then over on this side with the Mafex Spider-Man, he does look a little bit too big for this version of Prowler. But um, I'm sure you could get some pretty cool shots out of them. But you know what just occurred to me? How cool would it be to get a Mafex comic book Prowler? I think that'd be dope. Because I like the Marvel Legends one. I think it's fine. But I think Mafex would give us something special with it. And maybe it's not without... Maybe it's not outside of the realm of possibility since the Prowler is kind of... He's known now. My daughter knows who the Prowler is. <laughs> so, you know, maybe it's possible. But I'd also be down for a Mafex spider-verse version of the prowler i think that'd be nice and then let's go ahead and take a look at the articulation on prowler so basically he has the standard marvel legends articulation setup there's not going to be any surprises here but let's go ahead and take a look anyways first off his head is on a ball joint so it does move side to side he can only look up to about right there because of the design of the mask and then it could look down to about right there for the torso it could crunch forward can't really crunch forward too much actually damn that sucks yeah, that, it only goes forward to right there. So that's that's too bad. Then he does have a waist swivel. I, I don't know. I feel like maybe... Do I have a bad one or something? Because I feel like this body is able to get a little bit more crunch than that. But yeah, that's not very good. And then for the arms, they do go all the way around. They come out to the side. He does have upper bicep swivel. He has double jointed elbows, which actually get a pretty good bend considering he's got all this stuff going on i was having some problems with these figures as far as like breaking the joints here like this one's there we go so yeah it's a pretty good bend at the elbow as you can see his cape came out and once the cape comes out it kind of gets annoying but it does stay in there pretty securely and then for the hands we do have a swivel and a vertical hinge as i mentioned before and then for the legs, he could kick them up a pretty good amount. 
not too bad. You could go back to right there. You could bring him out to the side, so he could pretty much do the splits. Then he does have upper bicep swivel, double jointed knee, lower leg swivel. His foot could go forward to right there, come up to right there, and then he has rocking ankles. So yeah, articulation definitely could be better on this figure, especially the torso. That really kind of pisses me off, you know? But you could still get him into some pretty good poses, and he's still fun to mess around with. He was the first one in the wave that I opened, so I've spent a lot of time with him, playing with him and stuff, and I've enjoyed it, and I just kind of, I don't know, the, the fact that his torso didn't bend that much didn't really even catch my eye until right now. I think overall, I'm, I am enjoying messing around with the figure. Alright, so, overall, I'm happy to have this version of the character, and I do think that it's a pretty cool figure, but I really think they could have done a lot better with it. They could have given him better articulation, they could have included some accessories, and I would have liked to have seen a brand new sculpt for this guy, just completely brand new, not just a couple of new parts, because it seems like they gave the other Spider-Verse figures new sculpts. Peter B. Parker's obviously brand new, Miles is brand new, and I think that most of Gwen Stacy is brand new, except for maybe the arms. But it seems like there's a lot of new parts on that figure. With Prowler, there's some new parts, but for the most part, it's like retooled old body mold. So, I mean, I could appreciate that they're trying to improve what they have, and that's cool. But I wish that Prowler just got a brand new sculpt. I feel like he got the short end of the stick because they just didn't show him as much love as they did some of the other characters in the wave. Um, you know, again, with accessories, I really wish that he came with an unmasked head. That would have been nice. And I really wish that he came with some different hands because the gripping hands... You know, they, they kind of suck. At least with Prowler, it kind of makes sense that his hands are just open and hanging out there. So I could, you know, you could kind of justify it. But it would have been nicer if he had some claws, ha clawed hands or fists or something. Some kind of attack hands, you know. Now he just has open hands. It kind of just looks like he's relaxing, you know, with those big, crazy mechanical gloves on. But yeah, I really wish that they put some more love into this figure. I feel like it would have been, I, I get that, like, it's budget and stuff like that. They can't put all the money into every figure. So I understand that, but... In my opinion, I would have. I know they don't do stuff like this, but I think it would have been really cool if they just gave us a four-figure wave, but all of them extremely well done. Or maybe like two two-packs, you know? And then maybe like a deluxe Penny Parker figure or something like that, you know? Um, and just focus like all the energy into every one of these figures. Because in this case, like we got a really good-looking Hand Ninja and a good-looking Frogman, but those figures, I, I, you know, like I've heard Hasbro say that the reason why they can't put so much into every single figure is because of the volume and how many figures they put out. And I understand that. I completely get it. But sometimes with something like this, I think it would have been better just to put as much as possible into these four figures because there's not a lot of options for these four figures right now, you know? Like there are some Spider-Verse figures coming from other companies. Well, basically just Mafex and then Sentinel has that cool looking Miles figure. But other than that, the Spider-Verse, which was such an amazing movie that everybody liked kids, adults, uh, weird man children like myself everybody liked that movie so there was a like a big potential to sell some toys and nobody jumped on it finally Hasbro comes along and gives us some figures from the movie but they gave a really important character like shitty treatment I, I really wish that they put some more into the prowler I don't hate it I do enjoy the figure and I like it I'm having fun messing around with it but I just feel like just feel like he got the short end of the stick and it, it's unfortunate because I liked him so much in the movie and I really like the character design but at the end of the day, I am happy to have this version of the Prowler. Um, hopefully, we could see another company take a take a stab at this, you know, because he's dope. And I just feel like they didn't put the love into him that they should. The other figures, that's not the case. I'm going to be reviewing these pretty soon, and I'm pretty blown away by some of these figures that we have in this wave. So um, I look forward to talking about them. But for now, that's it for the Prowler. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And if you want to support the channel, I recently started the YouTube membership thing. So if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and check that out. Um, nothing's going to change on my channel. I'm going to continue to do like a bunch of reviews, comparisons, and random videos, and all that stuff. But if you're a... You t I mean, uh, Unparalleled Universe channel member, there might be some extra stuff, you know, just little small things. But check that out if you're interested. If not, it's all good. I do appreciate that you watch it. Thank you very much. Peace.